Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue with the PCMM guys. That is the po the people capability mature maturity model. So in the last two lectures, in the fifth lecture, we discussed about ISO 9000, and after that we discussed about uh, I think so CMM, right? Yes. So CMM, this is an updated version or a different type of CMM, you can say. So basically, in CMM, it is with respect to your company, right? Yes. So if we change that company perspective to a person or an employee in your company, that is called as a PCMM, guys. The People Capa Capability Maturity Model. Okay. So this is also a framework that helps organizations successfully address their critical people issues. So based on their knowledge, human resources and all those things you can identify guys. So based on the best current practices in the field such as human resources, knowledge matters and organization development. Okay. The people CMM guides organization in improving their processes for managing people and their workforces. Okay. So it will help them in building their work process to be developed in a proper way. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea right about PCMM. Guys, I tried to search for some proper notes or from some proper website but i ended up at some websites which are not having that much clear notes guys okay i checked in java points and multiple web, web websites but none of them are not that much good okay yes so the people cmm helps organization characterize the maturity of their work workforce practices establishing the program continuously workforce development and set priorities for the improvement sections okay yes so if you recall okay i'm skipping this part guys if you if you have some time you can just go through it once okay yes so directly i'll be going through the model and i'll be explaining you the overview of the model guys because if i start reading every single line it will take around 10 to 15 minutes for a single small topic right yes okay so here again we are having the same five stages guys so if you recall the name of the stages is also exactly same so st level one is initial level two is uh, repeatable level three is uh, defined level four is uh, managed level five is uh, optimized okay yes okay so level one that is nothing but initial right yes so let us start. okay so at the initial level the performance of the workforce activities is inconsistent the organization typically provides forms for activities such as performance appraisals or position requests by but offer offers a little guidance or training in conducting the activities okay Activities supported by these forms. Typically, managers have not been trained in performance most of these workbenches responsibilities. So, basically, as in the previous one, we discussed about the one star hotels, right? So, in that way. So, here the employees are not trained in a proper way or they will not be having continuous training sessions. Okay? Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay. So, their ability to manage those who report to them is based on the previous experience and their personal people skill these organizations are not necessary abusive or inconsistent their problem is that they do not have the ability to systematically develop the competitive capability of the workforce so basically assume that you are working in a company okay yes so in this company you are doing your job but there is no appraisal like there is no hike in your salary or there is no nothing improvement for you and you are st stuck at a single post and you are doing the same coding process every day like you are working on html from the past 10 years like web web pages and everything so there is no upgrade in your development you are not changing the language even the outside if there is a new language you are not learning it so those kind of companies which are not that much into improvement of their uh, resources that is nothing but their employees comes under the initial level guys okay yes okay so you can just go through the rest of the theory guys i think now you got the uh, understanding of this initial right yes so from initial with a few modifications you can go to repeatable guys so initial basic disciplinary into the workforce activity that is nothing but Compensive training, performance management, staffing and communication, work environment. So basically, if you start some prop, uh, if you start giving some proper training and all those things, uh, so now you will be under the level two. That is nothing but repeatable. So initial, there is no proper training and no proper management also. Okay. Yes. So in a repeatable, the level two, the primary objective at the repeatable are to eliminate the problems that keep people from 
being able to perform their work responsibility efficiently and to establish a foundation of workforce practices that can be continuously improved in development of the workforce the most of the frequent problems that keep people from being able to perform effectively is low maturity organization includes so these are some properties guys so basically they are not providing some proper knowledge or skill okay so un unclear about their performance objectives and environmental distractions and poor communication so basically if you start providing them some resources and if you are training them in a proper way then it comes under the repeatable level guys okay so you can just go through the rest of the theory and the next is nothing but the defined okay so here in a defined you will be defining some things like culture so what dressing style should they they should follow like that you will be giving some requirements okay so particularity culture okay particularity culture okay and based on practices and career development and competency development workforce planning and knowledge and skill analysis okay so here you are going to align and you are going to do some performances on them okay yes let us continue with it the third level guys okay so organization at repeatable level find although they are performing basic workforce practices there is inconsistency in how these practices are performed across the unit the organization is not cop capable on opportunities to standardize its best workforce practice because it has not identified the common knowledge and skill needed across the units and best practices to be used for development the organization is motivated to achieve okay to achieve the level in order to gain and strategical conferences so basically in repeatable so they are following some strategies to teach their employees but they are not that much matured that they are defining their rules so basically if some project comes they are not defining that these employees will work for this language like that they are giving some chances for them so there is no proper planning you can say in repeatable so they are repeating some used methodologies and all those things whereas in defined they are having some particular things so they will be following them based on the requirements okay yes so that comes under this part guys please go through the rest of the theory also guys okay yes so the fourth level is nothing but the managed level okay so here everything is managed and performed very uh, properly so organizational performance alignment organization compatibility management team based practices a team building and mentoring so almost everything will be performed here perfectly guys in simple words you can say okay yes so organizations at this defined level have established the foundation for continuous improvement of their workforces at a managed level so basically at this level at the fourth level that is managed level the organization takes the first step in capitalizing on managing its core competencies as the strategy strategical advancements okay so basically here they will be checking for more and more and more improvements guys in this stage okay yes so they start aligning everything and they will be starting performing very very good okay and the last stage is nothing but optimizing so now they are performing really good right yes but in managed they will be using some of their energy to waste guys so basically they could train some people in more languages as per the rest requirement so in that situation they will they need some optimization right so that is the last and final level where continuous work for involvement coaching and personalized development will also be taken care of okay so that is nothing but the last stage guys okay yes so these are all the five stages in the people capability maturity model so i hope everyone got some basic idea right yes okay so in the next lecture we will be discussing about malcolm okay so malcolm ball the national quality award okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching